नाइन इंपॉर्टेंट मेडिटेशन टिप्स गिवन बाय परमहंसा योगानंदा टू मेडिटेट ए शॉर्ट टाइम विथ डेप्थ इज बेटर देन टू मेडिटेट फॉर लॉन्ग आवर्स विद द माइंड रनिंग वाइल्ड इन द बिगिनिंग देयर फोर डोंट फोर्स योर सेल्फ टू सिट फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम स्ट्राइव फॉर शॉर्टर बट डीपर मेडिटेशंस देन ग्रेजुअली एज यू बिकम अकस्टम टू गोइंग डीप लेंथन योर टाइम यू सिट इन मेडिटेशन Don't feel badly if you find yourself too restless to meditate deeply. Calmness will come in time if you practice regularly. Just never accept the thought that meditation is not for you. Remember, calmness is your eternal true nature. A disciple was having a difficulty with his meditations. He asked Sri Yogananda, "Am I not trying hard enough?" The master answered, "You are trying too hard. You are using too much will power. It becomes nervous. Just be relaxed and natural. As long as you try to meditate, you won't be able to. Just as you can't sleep so long as you will yourself to sleep. Will power should be used gradually. Otherwise, it will become detrimental. That's why it is better in the beginning to emphasize relaxation." Do not get excited or impatient in your efforts to find God. Be wholehearted but not anxious about getting results. Be patient. Move towards your divine goal ever calmly with tranquility. A devotee was having difficulty remaining awake during meditation. To him Paramahamsa Yogananda made this suggestion. Squeeze your eyes shut several times. then open them wide and stare straight ahead repeat this practice once or twice more if you do this sleepiness will cease to bother you in meditation try to go beyond thinking as long as the thoughts enter the mind you are functioning on the conscious level when dreaming you are in the subconsciousness then you are more aware in the astral body when your consciousness withdraws still more deeply into super consciousness then you are centered in bliss in the spine in that bliss state you are aware in the causal body the soul the soul loves to meditate for in the contact with the spirit lies its greatest joy if then you experience mental resistance during meditation remember that reluctance to meditate comes from the ego it doesn't belong to the soul one who wants to be a concert pianist will practice at the piano 12 hours a day if instead his practice consists of taking half heartedly at the keys for a few minutes every day he'll never become any good as a pianist that's how it is with the search for god how can you expect to know him if you only half try it is very difficult to reach god if even a concert pianist must work hard to become successful in his profession how much more earnestly must a devotee work at meditation in order to realize the infinite here however is an encouraging thought everyone who makes a sincere effort on the spiritual path will surely reach his goal you cannot say that of worldly ambition not everyone can become famous pianist no matter how hard he tries for in every field There is a room at the top for very few. All men, however, can claim their sonship equally with the heavenly Father. Try to feel when walking out of doors that everyone around you is a part of your own expanded awareness. Behold the leaves trembling on the trees and try to feel their movement. Imagine in that moment that God is expressing his thoughts and inspirations. Watch the meadow grasses as they wave in the wind. Imagine the breeze as God's breath blowing over the world, inspiring all beings and giving them life. Listen to the birds singing. Feel that God through their songs is trying to reach you with feelings of divine gladness. Be aware of the sun's rays on your skin. Think of the heat you feel from the sun as God's energy. Let it fill your body with vitality and power. Imagine divine energy through the sunlight strengthening creatures everywhere on earth. 
meditate more and more deeply until the calmness and joy become second nature to you to be ecstatic is not difficult it is thinking that it is difficult that holds you apart from it never think of divine joy as distant from you and it will be with you always